Hey all, it's David Campanile from Campanile Law coming back at you with another snippet of some uh, things to think about when you're establishing a will. Uh, today I want to talk to you about actually what are digital assets. Now, we're in the 21st century, it's 2020, our lives are connected every day, our phones, computers, smartwatches, um, you name it. It's got some sort of online presence. You have some sort of username and password to get to it. So I'm going to give you the legal definition of a digital asset. And it means data, text, emails, documents, audio, video, images, sounds, social media content, social networking content, codes, healthcare records, health insurance records, computer source codes. These are all things that are online. Uh, those are just examples really, but the definition would really be an electronic record in which an individual has a right or interest. The term does not include an underlying asset or liability. So what do we do with these things? Well, what happens is when we pass, attorneys have noticed that there is a lot of struggle to acquire usernames, passwords, email addresses, and passwords from uh, companies like Google, like a Yahoo, uh, and usernames for, for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And these can become legal battles because in those terms and services, attorneys have found out when people just click that they can potentially be signing a right away saying, hey, I'm the only person you could share this with. It doesn't matter. Um, it's okay. Of course, the law takes a little while to come around to new things and new ways, but you can put digital assets in your will. You could also, if you don't want to put them in a will, create an Excel spreadsheet, the name of the website, your username, your password. Uh, yes, I understand the threat of hacking and viruses and then having to change everything, but Remember, this is really for your family, and you can put this all on a flash drive. You can put it uh, somewhere. If you have a will, attach it to your will. Keep it there. And every time, put your Twitter. My name is uh, it's Joe Smith at gmail.com. My password, 123456pound. Um, and if you change the password, just go into your, your sheet really quick. Change it. And let your family know this is there because sometimes we're putting things here that we want our families to have, um, especially in our email. Uh, it's become something where families set up email addresses where they send photos and videos to so they can share with uh, the later generation. And um, what happens is then they lose access to that. And that this could be all be lost forever. So what I want you guys to do is when you sit down with your attorney and make a will, or if you come to me and Campanile Law, this will be a priority and it always is a priority with our clients. We're going to ask you to create an Excel spreadsheet uh, with all this information. I will also have a copy of it because if somebody can't find your documentation, I'll have a docu document backed up to provide them. So please remember when you're coming up with digital, when you start working, you're using everything on the internet, remember everything is a digital asset. And at the end of the day, your family will want these things or they're going to want to access things to make sure they're not missing anything important that you may have left behind for them. If you have any questions, you have any comments, you want to see any me do any other videos, please comment down below. Please like and subscribe to the video as, uh, to our channel as well. We'd greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you have any questions, you want to feel free to reach out to me. My email is david at campanile, C-A-M-P-A-N-I-L-E law.com. Again, thank you for listening. Stay safe.